Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Shredder here back with yet another 100% achievement of trophy guide and this time we are getting it all in The Devil Inside Us, Roots of Evil I'd prefer it if the devil wasn't inside me personally, but uh, that's for another story uh, This was developed by Mr. Skull Game Studio, published by Cubite Interactive and is usually available for £12.49 slash $14.99 Now, uh, so this is basically a story sort of focused horror game. We are we are having to play as a priest who for 30 years has had a bunch of, you know, devilly evil stuff stuck in his head for about 30 years. So we basically come back to the future, which is now the present, which is kind of the past if you're kind of thinking about it. Anyway, time to finish it off. Uh, but as for achievements and trophies then, uh, they are pretty much... There's quite a few miscellaneous ones. Uh, we just have to go to specific... Um, Places we would have to go ahead and grab six secrets as well, but we can actually do this within the first five minutes of the game. Um, but yeah, everything else is pretty much easy. But like I said, uh, I'm going to show it, show you a trick now in order to get infinite stamina and in infinite stamina and infinite faith, which is basically ammo um, in the first couple of minutes of the game. So all in all, you're probably looking at around. 30, to, 30 minutes to an hour to get this done, so with that being said, of course, let's do it! And we'll start off at 1984, we can hold the left bumper to sprint, but what you're going to see uh, quite quickly is he's going to run out of breath. I mean, this dude, I mean, 1984, he probably wasn't an old man here, but still, if you run fit enough as a uh, exorcist priest, um, yeah, it's not going to go too well. But anyway, uh, you will get an achievement there just for running out of stamina quickly. So, you'll run forward, press the X button there to interact with the gate, and we're just going to run straight for the house. Again, no panic, no enemies to worry about or anything. But this is what, uh, this is where the uh, little trick is going to come in too. So again, normally we have to find six secrets in order to get the infinite uh, sort of ammo. But what we'll do is head towards this, uh, into the kitchen, just have a look at the right-hand side wardrobes here. And this is the first secret. Oh, hey -ho! And you know, the old GBC stuff goes nuts, and then we can just go ahead and return to menu. So this is what we're going to do six times. We're going to return to the menu, we're going to start a new game, and then we are going to, again, just skip the cutscenes if you wish, and then we're just going to make a break for the house. Again, no enemies, no, nothing to be scared of just yet, apart from the spooky atmosphere. And of course, the... Uh, the music when there needs to be no music just to make you grab your pants a little bit more uh but yeah so we'll be doing this six times and that is in order to get three achievements that are tied to the secrets we're basically gathering six secrets so again just uh, i mean this is a good um little indicator so we can uh, get used to the buttons and movements and everything but again, we'll be doing this. Hopefully there's not going to be an update where it uh, ruins this trick. Uh, but So again, have a look in the right wardrobe. And th there's the secret found. And that's going to get you uh, your uh, second achievement of the game here. So what you're going to do then is do this another two times. Again, I'm just going to skip over it. Uh, just edit it out a little bit. So this is the fourth time that I'm doing this. And then what you'll see when we grab the next secret, we'll get the achievement there for finding four secrets. We'll return to the menu. But before starting a new game, what we're going to do is go down to Extras. And we can finally load in the Infinite Stamina. Now, <laughs> this is going to come in handy since apparently um, our priest friend decides he can no longer run for more than five seconds without, you know, going off his trolley and getting a bit nuts. So, this is going to be the sixth and final time then that we are going to grab this secret. So, we'll return to the menu again. Uh, you will get your achievement, and then we're going to go back down to extras, and we can now enable infinite faith. Like I said, the faith, basically, for the majority of the game, you get a cross, which acts uh, kind of acts like a gun in order to get rid of demons and such. So, yeah, that's how that works. So, once you've done it six times, you've enabled infinite stamina, in in infinite faith. I keep going to say intimate faith, which, uh, <laughs> only on my only fans. It's $4.99, guys, and I'm in the top 1% of creators. Sorry. Sorry. Um, <laughs> no, so once we've done that, we've got everything. We can now just crack on into the house and begin the game properly. So 
So you can go ahead and grab the secret again if you wish. Like I said, it doesn't make a difference now since we've got all the rest of them, but we can try and head out until the cutscene starts and then we're gonna be like, ah, it's red stuff. Right, this is where we get the cross. So what we're gonna do is turn around where the kitchen table is. Now just take a right down here and you're gonna use the faith. So press the right trigger on this little bunny here until it basically stops. There we go. And then obviously some more spooky stuff's gonna go on. Uh, I do apologize, this game is quite dark at some points as well, so I do apologize if that does affect you uh, following the guide. So we'll take a left <clears throat> down this hallway, take another left, and we're just going to go through this door. And again, we're going to use our faith on this little bunny rabbit who seems to be possessed more than a possessed pancake. A pancake has nothing to do with anything, but uh, yep. So, once you've done that, you can press the right trigger to put your cheeky little cross away. Cheeky little Nando's cross. Then we can head to the left and outside for the first time. Ah, nice. So, we're going to grab another couple of achievements here. So, we take a left towards this lamp, or this light post, lamp post. Take a left again. Take a look through the window, and you're going to see someone nip past. That's going to get us uh, another achievement called, oh, I die, boy. Or just David, for short. So, uh, go back the way you came, and then this time we're going to take a left through this little gate with the fog. And then we're going to take a right, interact with the pig. Again, this isn't going to be Black Mirror uh, Episode 1, where the Prime Minister bangs a pig. Thank God it's not that type of game. Uh, but no, just interact with the pig there until the pig pet achievement unlocks. Next, we're going to head towards the uh, left-hand side here, pick up the um, health kit. So you can obviously press down on the D-pad if you need health a little bit later on. Then we are going to take a left from where we were, go around this building. So don't go in the building just yet. If we go around it, we are going to unlock another achievement. Plus, if you want there, you can grab some caffeine pills, but we don't need it because we've got infinite stamina. But that's another achievement done anyway. So now we can head into the door and we can pick up the key with a random light on it. Now, trident symbol. See? This can only go well, red. Wrong. So here comes Angela. Ah, D Angie Lav. How you doing, darling? Come back and get your purse, mate. Well, it's going to go all wrong. Lots of screams and stuff, so we're going to head back into the house. So through the pig pen. In through the door in front of us. Man, Angela came back at a wrong time. And, uh, oh. That's unfortunate. So take a right back to where the bunny was, and then we're going to unlock the door with the trident symbol. Angie! Angie, my sponge cake, my cheese fruit, my pudding pop. Once we go in here, just uh, have a look straight in front of us. On the left is going to be a screwdriver slash, it's just a drill. And again, make sure to grab a uh, health pack here. Now we're going to get ready for our first enemy, so as soon as we turn the corner, it's going to get loud, but he's going to appear right in front of us, so when he does that, just hit the right trigger, and you'll know when you're hitting the enemy is when the sort of sparks and stuff are flying off. If you don't see any sparks flying off him, it means he's just moved somewhere else, so just be careful of that one. So that's the first one does, uh, done. Oh, I'm sorry, Ange. Uh, head to the left, and we are going to get through. There is going to be another enemy at the bottom. Uh, just as we turn at the bottom of these steps as well. They're just kind of like demons, you know, just chilling, trying to kill us, which is annoying. Uh, so we're going to head down, and then just past this brick wall here is going to be the next enemy. So again, as soon as it appears, just uh, hit him with the faith. Bambo! And like you said, the, like you've seen there, um, you'll obviously know when you kill an enemy as well. It's obviously when all the spooky, eerie stuff stops. So once we continue round, we're going to put our faith on this, um, and it looks like a, a bunch of wooden boards. And now he's going to have an orgasm and collapse. Well, <laughs> isn't he quite the luckiest? But what we're going to do now is basically end up in 2020. Here we are. It's, it's the COVID. It's the pandemic. Why is there no masks in my game? I specifically requested no chin diapers. Uh, anyway, once we get to the house, what we're going to do first is take a left. So we're going to go to the left, ignoring the house for now, and we're basically just going to get to the end until the next achievement unlocks. And this one's going to be called... Uh, Are You Lost? 
By the way, one achievement that you should have had as well was Hell's Key, and that was for grabbing um, the, the key a little bit earlier on, but for some reason it didn't pop up on screen. So when we head back, go past the house again anyway, and nip to the left, um, there is going to be another enemy. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you. Telling me, mate, my back hurts as well. Uh, just over the bridge, and, th and that's just waking up in the morning, to be honest. Head left and through the gate. And then we're just going to nip back into the house. Oh, nice. Let's see how modernized this is. Creepy phone call, but it's okay. Uh, just take a left there and answer it. Hello? How was my arrival? Well, I've crapped my pants more than enough times. Right, uh, have a look in the top cupboard and interact with the health kit as well. So that'll be another one to add. So three, so then we can just turn around. We're going to take a left into the living room and just interact with the key. This is the bedroom key, which uh, you can probably guess where we're going next. Yes, up the bedroom. So turn around, go straight in front of us. There will be a little devil here just to chill. Um, but nothing's gonna happen just yet. It's a very nice looking house, isn't it? Very modern, very beautiful. Anyway, head in the bedroom. And eventually, we'll be able to go in and simply interact with the bed. Now, why, even if you're a professional exorcist and you know you're in a house with incredibly bad demons, why the hell would you want to sleep? But apparently sleep, I mean, pff, technically demons and devils need sleep too, right? Okay, right, so everyone's woken up, and it's a battle of the wars again. Demons are like, right, let's just tr go to try and kill this guy. Right, so grab the bathroom key there from the left wardrobe, have a look at the door to the right side of the bed. And, incredibly, we can do this without hands. Well, wouldn't you know. So once we get into the bathroom, try and get into the bath, and we're just going to be smashed open by the devil. And now we're going to end up in this weird dream world. Now, there will be a couple of enemies here, um, and some traps as well. So, interact with the cot there. And that'll be the first one. Then, what we need to do, we'll turn... Yeah, that's fine. We'll turn to the right. And then, keep going. Now, these are traps. So, as you can see, so you get some spikes sticking out of the ground. So, anytime you see anything pink on the floor, just immediately um, try and run past it. Or... You know, try to avoid being spiked up the old bony butt. Right, uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to take a right now to the flower. Once we do that, we are going to get past these traps, and then there's going to be an enemy which will be behind us. So quickly run. And then as soon as we get to the trap's end, like I said, turn around and kill the enemy. Once that one is done and defeated, we've got another few traps to get past there. As you can see, one on the right, one on the left, and then three. So just wait until the three go. And go straight in front of us. And then it's just going to push us back. Well, that's not very nice. So once you've interacted with this flower, go to the left. And then the left again, and then we will finally end up back at the house. <gasps> too scary! I am too fannyish for games like this. Ah, but anyway, here we are. Back at the outside in the real world. So, turn around and head towards the light. Once we interact with this deadness body here, there's going to be another enemy. Not only will he try and come after you, he will try and spike you in the old anal bags as well. So, anytime you see that you're in pink, just try and get, you know, the pink sort of aurora around. Try and get out of it. Uh, and remember to press down on the D-pad if you need some health. But once you have uh, destroyed the enemy... <laughs> well, that guy looks like he ain't going nowhere far. <laughs> You look a little tied up there, buddy. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so anyway. Welcome to night two. Heading out and head, take a right down the stairs. And take an immediate right again. This time, of course, because as you always would, we're going to go into the demonic baby's room. So give that a little demonic baby smash out. And again, there's going to be a couple of enemies as we um, get out. So... Once we turn around and come out of the bedroom... Oh, in fact, actually, let's grab a health kit first from the top left drawer. So once we have grabbed that, then what we're going to do, we're going to come out of here, go into the next room on the right, but there is going to be a, an enemy crawling on the ceiling. 
So again, get your faith boy ready. Get your big crossy bags ready and smash him down. And uh, yeah, there we go. So once that one is done, use your faith on this desk in front of us as well. And that'll be another one smashed, broken, done, dusted, busted. Right, uh, coming out of the room, we are going to take a left, and we're going to go outside. So make sure to nip outside, here we go, and then back through the gate. And over the bridge, and far away, Teddy Tubby, Teddy Demons come to play. So we are going straight back to basically where the dead body was, and we're just going to do the same thing here. Faith across the remaining dude. And then I believe we just need one more. But we are now going to head back to the house. And personally, now if I was an ex uh, exorcist guy, um, I'd rather just get a job like a bus driver or something. I, I don't know. I'd be too scared for this. Anyway, what's going to happen? When we take a right to go to the stairs, we need to uh, interact with and press the A or slash cross button. Uh, and just to basically resist. It's kind of like a quick time event. Easy to uh, complete. Don't worry about that. And as it turns out, we did need one more because we've got the spiral symbol key all collected, done and dusted. So um, we are going to take a left now, so it's not past the bedroom. Going all the way through, interact with the door. What kind of goose eggs are going to lie above us here? So we are going to, there we go. So we're just outside now. So we take a left. We are going to take a left. There's another secret here again, if you need it. There is another secret right there. And we can open the door, grab the next drill slash screwdriver, whichever you want to call it. And there's another health kit as well, so make sure to just grab that. Always worth stocking up. And get your buns out of there, huns. So basically, just back the way we came. Now, when we get to the end of this hallway and the sofa starts moving by itself, there's going to be a demon that appears where I'm looking at right now. So once it moves, turn around and immediately kill said demonical demon pose. Ooh, that mother boy took a while to go down then. So heading back down the stairs, and there's going to be another two enemies that are going to appear right in front of us now. And with that done, now, it may seem like there may be one more around because some stuff's going to start flickering, but we're just basically going to head to the left. Very spooky stuff going on. Uh, in fact, to be honest, I'm crapping my pants uh, as we interact with the door here so we can go down to the basement because, of course, that's what you would always do. Uh, yeah, I'm crapping my pants more editing than I am than I was actually playing the game for some reason. So anyway, pick up the health kit when we get down the bottom of the steps and just follow the path around. And this basement... It's untouched. Yeah, I mean, there are demons living here, and uh, demons and devils are not exactly well known for, uh, you know, making changes to the house. Right, we're going to get into a new world, and we're immediately going to have two enemies that are right in front of us. And these ones move quite a bit as well, so just be a little bit careful. Just kill these two dead. And once that one is all good and the two are dead, we can now just continue forward straight in front of us. You clearly see the uh, hole. There's going to be a dog that's going to start chasing us down. So give this the little... Uh... Now, these are little bar stools, to be honest, these devil dogs. Because obviously with the other enemies, they just start slowly walking towards you. But these can get right underneath you, bite the crap out of your ankles and, you know, hurt you bad. Right, so before taking a left, if you go straight down you will see the shotgun. Uh, now, this is always good. So, obviously, right trigger to shoot. All done. When we shoot this first log, we're going to get another dog here and a potentially another enemy. Uh, just as we turn around the corner right in front of us. Shoot the next piece of wood, and there's going to be another enemy plus another dog or two. If your screen goes dark like this, just use a health pack. I believe... Um, I believe that's... <laughs> That's what was happening there, and I was getting completely mashed up. So if it goes if it goes dark, just use a health kit, and you should be good to go. Uh, you'll also get an achievement here for killing three dogs. Three devil dogs, so it's okay. It's not normal dogs, they're just devil-y annoying dogs, okay? Devil scotch egg, egg dogs. Right, so. 
Uh, we continue on forward. Again, there's going to be another couple of enemies and dogs as we shoot this piece of wood here. Damn it, those dogs mashed me up, boy. That's why I hate demon dogs. Right, so straight in front of us is another health kit. Uh, probably worth uh, needing. Uh, shoot this piece of wood here, but there will be no more enemies spawning, so now we can just breathe a ah, collective sigh of relief. As we go down, we will head back here and finally finish, uh, get back into the basement, where we see some demons doing some lovely DIY. For that Nick Knowles show, where Nick Knowles doesn't actually do anything. Yeah, yeah, you know the one. Renovation and stuff. So anyway, back to the right. To the right again, and we're going to interact with the phone, and then we can head back upstairs. Because it's 10 to 5 in the PM, and apparently priests sleep at that hour because... I don't know where. Well, as it turns out, we ain't going to sleep for very long because we're going to go straight into a uh, kind of nightmare. I mean, this is obviously a nightmare, but we're going into a nightmare world again. Right, so what we're going to do, what we're going to do, pig, what we're going to do is turn around. And we're going to head out. It's uh, not, not too bad, this part. We basically just have to follow a path and then just kill two of the devil dogs. So, we will take a right. Now, what you're going to see is a building. Uh, is it a church? Yeah, pretty much a church right in front of us. So, when we get close to that, when we get past these trees on our left, then we are going to take a left and start heading up the hill. So, the, again, this area is quite dark, so it can be kind of hard to see. But um, once, you've, uh, once you see that you go in sort of uphill, uh, obviously just by this tree up here, then we're good to go. You know, you're on the right path. So, a couple of, um, couple of hung heads and stuff. It's a bit unfortunate way to go, but go ahead, grab the key. Now, when we turn around and start heading down the hill, another dog will appear, so be on your guard. Now, what I found was when I killed enemies, especially the dogs, they would sort of um, distort the camera angle and make it into a sort of weird angle. But again, be careful here as we go down to the right. Anyway, it's going to be another dog as we head back the way we came. And the crying baby noises are just creepy as hell as well. It's going to appear right in front of us. There it is. So, again, once you have killed this dog... Now, there was a bit of an edit because I did get lost, but what, what you're looking for is the gate that we came through in the distance. So, I, I killed this dog right in front of where we were supposed to go, but for some reason it put me in a different... It put me at a different angle and then I got lost for a minute. So, that is the gate that we need in, and then once we head towards here, we will get back into the real world once more. Oh, wait till late. <laughs> Not quite yet. Um... No, oh, in fact, yeah, because we're going to get smashed up now, me. Once again, my nightmare was guiding me, but this... Time for them, time for some of that sweet-ass devil weakness, bruh. Right, so, uh, once we are on night three, we can, what the hell? We can go ahead and head back down the stairs. What's funny though is he, he is the devil himself, but apparently he can't get through this particular bedroom door. So that's kind of 
that's kind of a weakness. If you feel yourself getting possessed or feel like there's a demon in your room, just lock yourself in your bedroom. It's all good. So anyway, once you've picked up the crowbar from the left, we will go into the bathroom on the right to get the flashlight. So up and down on the D-pad in order to turn it on and off. Obviously, uh, always best to keep it on. Make sure to grab the next health kit as well. And there's some good music going on in the background. I was going to play uh, Slip Slipknot's The Devil and I. But, uh, well, I've forgotten at this point. Uh, so we've got some unfortunate dead guy right here. Oh, as it turns out, it's me. Hello. Hello, dead me. You're looking a bit worse for wear there, bro. <laughs> a bit strung up again. <laughs> anyway, back out of the house we go. And we can now go straight in front of us to use the crowbar. Okay, once we are heading through, what we're going to do is just go straight in front of us. And in one of these, just on the right, is going to be a dead dog. So we're going to use the faith cross on the dog. Just here, there it is. And then there's going to be an alive one just as we turn around. So once we turn around, make sure to kill the next dog. Screw off, stupid devil dog. Right, so once you've got rid of them, head to the left. Um, effectively going back towards the house, but what we're going to do is go straight through these flowers here. And on the side of the house, if you need in, is another secret. dominoes. So once you go straight, we can now head left and interact with this plank of wood. That's going to get the crowbar off it. Bang it down, blood. And heading straight through the gate. Oh, man. So, uh, another dead devil dog right here. So give that a little faithy faith cross with your faith crossnized weapon. And again, there's going to be another dog that's going to come towards us. So once you've killed them devil dogs, we're going to head uh, just underneath these lovely little awnings. Take a left slightly and you're going to go through to this little building straight in front of us. Now, I actually died right here. Uh, there's about three of these devil dogs that will come and chase us in a minute. Uh, make sure to do the quick time event as well though. A to resist or cross to resist. Basically, devil, you ain't getting inside me. Not this time. I'm not quite ready for that commitment just yet. Uh, head into the bathroom anyway, pick up the key. Remember, if you do die like I do here, um, once we get outside of the door slams behind us, three devil dogs are going to appear, so just be on your guard. Now, like I said, I died here, so make sure to turn on your flashlight so you can actually see. So like I said, um, if you do die, you basically just go back to the toilet where we grab the key. So it's not too bad, but we're going to go straight in front of us. And we are going to go through the gate. So basically back into the housing estate area. Back into the house again. And we take a left. Take a right to where we found the bunny, first of all. Uh, a lot earlier on. And the devil's going to be all like, hello, it's just me, guy. Uh, if it's the devil from South Park, I'm up for all for that. And then I realize that, oh yeah, I can turn my flashlight on. Uh, interact with the bunny rabbit again, or put the faith on him. Get out of my bunny, boy! The bunny boiler. But then the phone will answer, but try to answer it, and it's going to be an enemy. Jump scare and enemy. So immediately hit your faith. <laughs> Okay, so this next section is not too bad. All we're doing is literally, it's its basically just a whole bunch of cutscenes. So you're going to use your faith in order to get past the wood. And then just go through a couple of scenes. No enemies in this one. Again, have a little breather. It, you know what, it's nuts. We're only half an hour into this. And it seems like, now I really do like these types of games. The ones where they're short, but it just feels like so much is actually packed into them. It's, it's a good one. It's a good one. Yeah. 
exchange was accomplished. you understand? I did it for- Oh my god! Okay, so now we're going to be coming up to basically the devil boss fight. Now, again, it's not bad. It's uh, So what we do is obviously turn around. We're just going to go through all of the doors until he appears at us. But it's basically a case of, this is a quite a dark area, so what you need to do is find, you can see where the devil is by the lights in his eyes. So all you've got to do is just uh, try and point your faith weapon at him, your cross at him. Um, but he will uh, sort us out with some traps as well. So here he is then. So again, as soon as you start seeing the pink aura around you, make sure to move. But immediately just try and keep hitting him with your cross. Again, he will move. So all you got to do is just walk around in the corners of the room, just looking for the lights in his eyes. Once you see the pink aura, try and move. If not, just give yourself a little health pack. Basically, you're just going to have to run away from these and run towards the devil and give him the shot of life. And any time you do that, obviously resist him as well. So I did actually die by the devil once, and that was only by, you know, getting my getting my buns spiked. <laughs> Me thinking it's a barbecue, putting my bun my <laughs> my little buns in between some more buns. Anyway, once you have killed him, uh, you probably think this is just the end of the game. It's a lovely day. It's all good. As it turns out, we've got about six minutes, six or seven minutes of gameplay left. So yeah. So what you can do is actually find another secret here if you want it, just by the ironing board. I like dominoes, but not the price. So anyway, once you get here, you can speak to Broski, and he's going to tell us to sit down. Well, we've, uh, it's a hard day kidnapping boys and putting them in my basement. Oh. Sorry, did I just say that out loud as a priest? <laughs> just kidding. Anyway, we're going to go back into a nightmare world now, so no, it's not quite over. Oh, I am sorry. I had to get a priest and little boy joke in there, didn't I? Right, so once we're back in the nightmare world, turn around, go up the steps to the right, and use your faith cross on the tree. And this is where we're going to get, a f again, quite a few enemies starting to appear. So once we go down, now they're actually not going to appear yet, but we're going to go straight in front of us, more or less, go to the end. Take a right and we're going to open up a gate and then we're basically going to grab a crank off a box and then to the left of that, that's where we're going to put the crank. So that's going to open up the way for us lovely, so we'll go... <laughs> yeah, not straight into the wall. I oh, will try that one again. So heading back out. Now this is where the enemies are going to appear. Uh, I, I've just cracked my pants there with the uh, sudden noise. This game is very loud as well. Have you noticed? <laughs> so once we head towards the altar, when we take a right here, this is where the enemies are going to appear. So just be very careful after this wall. Once you've smashed him done, and the other one, if there is a second one, go right, and you're going to see another health kit. Another enemy, though, will appear as we start heading towards the back. Uh, so once you've gotten rid of this tree trunk here, start going back, but there's going to be another enemy hiding behind the wall on your left. So just be careful again. I 
really tell if that was flying sparks or flying popcorn right there. Anyway, take a right, and now we can head down through the path that was blocked before. There is going to be another three enemies as we take a right here. So again, be on your guard, be careful. And one of them will pop you up some traps as well. And the last one was a stupid guy. Uh, but anyway, once you have got that last one, again to the right of the steps is going to be a, another secret if you need it, just to the uh, left as, as we walked in. Homme vami vu, dominoes, etc. And make sure to grab the crank as well from the shelf. And of course, as you've seen uh, me pick up as well, there was a health kit on the wooden box in the main fighty fighty area. So once we get up, pop the crank in, that's going to open up an, the next doorway for us. And then once we head downstairs, obviously take a right back into the main fighty fighty area, to the left through the new gateway, and just follow the path all the way around. No enemies left in this area, thankfully, and uh, I tell you what, the crime babies in this game actually creep me out more than anything. And it would creep you out more, especially if you heard crying baby noises in your house and you didn't have a baby. <laughs> Ah, finally, here we are, back at the house. There you go, job done. So, sorry, mate, I must have dozed off or something, but uh, I'm just going to go for a quick look down at the basement just to, you know, make sure everything's all cool. And apparently it's not being cool because a new path is about to open once we use our faithy faith cross. Eventually. Ah, crap and a shningle. Uh, so continuing down, there's only one particular way pathway to go, and you're going to hear a lot of screaming right now. Okay, no need to scream. I'm sorry that I touched the thermostat. I know some Americans get really weird with touching the thermostat. Or is that just Mr. Krabs? Anyway. Uh, heading back up, and then there's going to be another couple of demons to shoot here. Oof, with a shotgun. We're about to go shotgun on these demon viruses. Let's save the day! Doomguy style. Right, so when we pick up the holy shotgun, there's going to be one right in front of us. So give him the shot of life. Bam one, bam two. There you go, head off. Take a right. Take a right, and there is going to be another one. In fact, he's going to knock us down first. As you can see, our lady friend looks a bit, uh... Well, she looks like her head's hurting a bit. Uh, give this demon the smash of life. Take a left into the bedroom. And relax. Doom guy, Augustus. Save the freaking day. Oh, we're not. We're, we're uh, giving the left guy a uh, shoot. Heading back down the way we came, we're also going to give this lady a shoot. And then once we go back into the baby's room... The game is going to end, and as it turns out then, um, <laughs> whether this was all a complete nightmare, or he was possessed by demons, a gunman priest shoots dead, an entire family in the US, he was arrested and sentenced to life imprisonment. Well, 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 isn't that bloody something? Anyway, uh, but th that, uh, yeah, that was the, um, the devil inside us, so... I um, hope you enjoyed the game, and I uh, hope the guide helped as well. If you did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Big shout-out, as always, to all my Patreon supporters and YouTube members, and I will see you in the next one. Big love. By the way, Fernando Tits is the best name I have ever heard.
Nantet. Love it. <laughs>